Hello, my name is Sonja Stange. I'm from Bielefeld University and I would like to present my supervisor, Stefan Kops, and my work on self-explaining social robots. In our project context, we want to create a lively social robot who will be living in people's homes and who is supposed to proactively initiate behaviors that may not always be expected. This video shows an exemplary user sitting in their home and watching a documentary when a robot not only drives through the picture, but decides to end its path in the middle of it. The user is visibly surprised and not in a good way. In order to avoid negative consequences for the relationship between the robot and the user, the robot could, for example, explain its behavior. The robot here explains its reason for the path he chose and stopping in front of the TV where they need for social contact. But is this a good way to explain its behavior? And are explanations a useful tool for increasing users' understanding and desirability of behavior in the first place? As you saw in the example video, increasing a social robot's liveliness may lead to a lack of transparency, which is why we should endow robots with the ability to explain their behavior in order to render it more transparent, reduce uncertainty and eventually increase trust towards the robot. Therefore, robots should have the ability to access their reasoning and express it comprehensively by giving explanations that resemble the way humans explain behavior. It was found that people's explanations vary as a function of intentionality, surprisingness and social desirability of the behavior. That's why we decided to conduct two studies in order to first create a robust set of robot behaviors and evaluate how they are perceived among these scales and second, evaluate different explanation types and the impact they have on the user's perception of the robot behaviors. We aim at creating lively social robot behavior motivated through an intrinsic need structure. The robot thus currently has three internal needs which its behavior originates from and each of these is currently linked to one specific strategy to fulfill the need. For the first study, we created 12 robot behaviors, all designed as intentional and supposedly varying in their desirability and surprisingness, leading to four categories of behaviors. And I will show you one example for each category. The first behavior video should be perceived as desirable and not surprising. The robot moves to its charger because it needs energy while the user is reading a book. The second video differs in so far as the user now watches TV and the robot explicitly chooses a different path to his charger in order to avoid disturbing the user. Behavior that should be perceived as surprising and desirable. The third video shows behavior that originates from the robot's need for social contact. The robot playfully blocks the user's way, behavior that is not very surprising, yet depending on the situation rather undesirable. And the last video, which is the one we already saw, also originating from the robot's need for social contact, also not very desirable, but more surprising. In order to evaluate these behaviors, we did an online rating study via Amazon Mechanical Turk. Intentionality was generally perceived as high, with no significant differences between the behaviors. When looking at desirability, repeated measures ANOVA reveal significant differences between desirability ratings of the different behaviors with the first half receiving higher ratings than the second half in general. Regarding surprisingness ratings, in each of the groups, the first three were designed as less surprising than the second three. As you can see, behaviors one to three were perceived as less surprising than behaviors four to six. For the less desirable behaviors, the surprisingness ratings were in general rather high. As the necessity to explain behavior arises from the fact that it is surprising, and we decided to pick six behaviors that are more surprising for the explanation preference studies, leading to the inclusion of the two most surprising desirable behaviors, number four and six, and behavior eight, nine, eleven, and twelve. But what should such explanations look like? It is generally assumed that giving explanations of a robot's behavior that resemble the way humans explain behavior is intuitively understandable to humans. Also, Folk psychological studies have shown that humans explain intentional behavior in terms of beliefs and desires. Human explanations of agents' behavior can also be mapped to mental categories such as beliefs, desires and intention. That's why our aim is to generate explanations of robot behavior based on these concepts and grounded in the robot's architecture.
Bertrand Malle has conducted various studies on how people explain behavior. Assuming that people want to receive the same types of explanations they give from a robot explainee, we based our robot's explanations on these concepts and developed five types of explanations. A desire-based explanation stating the robot's need it is currently addressing, such as I needed social contact. An intention-based explanation stating the robot's intended strategy, such as I intended to make eye contact. And a mere action explanation, a lower level concept of the robot action answering the question of what the robot is doing rather than why, such as I position myself in your view. We also decided to include two types of causally structured explanations, combining these reasoning steps. An intention formation based explanation, combining the need and intention based explanation, and an action selection based explanation, combining the intention and the action-based explanation. For our second study, which is also the main study, we had the following hypothesis. First, explanations will generally increase ratings of understandability and desirability. Second, causally structured explanations, type two and four, will lead to higher gains in understandability, desirability, and better justify the behaviors than not causally structured explanations. And third, why explanations will analogically differ from what explanation. We had six behavior videos and each participant saw all of these videos. After seeing the video, participants rated the robot's intentionality, the behavior's surprisingness, how well it was understandable and how desirable it was. Then each participant saw one of the five types of explanations. After receiving an explanation, participants rated how well the explanation was understandable how well the behavior was now understandable, how well the explanation justified the behavior, and how desirable the behavior now was. We recruited 111 participants via MTurk, 14 of which had to be excluded due to failing the attention check, leading to 97 participants. Each of the participants saw all six behavior videos, but each participant received only one type of explanation. Concerning the understandability, you can see the ratings participants gave before and after receiving an explanation for each behavior. Generally, ratings of understandability increased for all behaviors. As you can see, there were significant differences in the understandability ratings of the different behaviors before receiving an explanation, with behavior four and six being rated as more understandable than the rest, as well as behavior nine being more understandable than behaviors eight, 11, and 12. Paired sample t-tests revealed that receiving an explanation, regardless of the type of explanation, significantly increased the understandability of all behaviors, except for behavior 4. Concerning desirability, we were able to reproduce our findings from the pre-study. Behaviors 4 and 6 were rated as far more desirable than the rest of the behaviors. Further, behavior 9 was rated as more desirable than behavior 8, 11 and 12. Again, you can see that desirability ratings for all behaviors increased after receiving an explanation. Directed paired samples t-tests indicate a significantly higher perceived desirability after the explanation for behaviors 8, 9 and 11. As you could see on the previous slide, our dependent variables were highly correlated, which is why we chose to analyze the data with a multivariate analysis of variance. Multivariate ANOVA shows causally structured explanations led to a significantly higher increase in understandability than the other types of explanations. The same goes for desirability. Causally structured explanations led to a significantly higher increase in the desirability ratings than the other types of explanations. Concerning the question of how well the different types of explanations justified the behaviors, we also found a significant difference between causally structured explanations and not causally structured explanations. Regarding the what versus why explanations, a multivariate ANOVA only displayed a statistically significant effect of the behavior, but no significant effect of the explanation type. So what can we learn from this? Giving explanations grounded in the robot's architecture does generally lead to a better understanding and higher social desirability of surprising robot behaviors. Causally structured explanations lead to a higher gain in understandability and desirability and better justify behaviors than not causally structured explanations, and why explanations do not significantly differ in their effects from what explanations, 
implying that stating the mere action the robot is performing can help the user understand the robot's behavior. Thank you for watching this video, and in case you have any questions, remarks or feedback, please don't hesitate to contact us.